Supplemental data. Battle station engineering notes. Document number YM3884L. Waste radiation distribution solutions. Time stamped approximately 18 months prior to Operation Fracture. Sent from engineering operations manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. Urso, I had the droids generate a new system safety and compatibility report incorporating your team's proposed adjustments to the reactor core. The new plans triggered a dozen subsystem warnings and spat out one blazing red stain on the line labeled Hyper Matter Annihilator Unit. I didn't bother asking my astromech how bad that could be. A red line on a critical system speaks for itself. Why are we even making reactor modifications this late in the game? Have your engineers check their work better next time. Suffice to say, no changes are approved. Document number YM3884M. Reply to Waste Radiation Distribution Solutions. Sent from Galen Urso to Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran. Vodran, sincere apologies. I fully agree that this is unacceptable. The modifications are intended to reduce primary weapon recharge times to satisfactory levels. I'm sure you saw Tarkin's directive, but sloppy work is sloppy work. I assume you alerted Director Krennic to the report as well. More as soon as I've spoken with my team. Document number YM3884N. Reply to Waste Radiation Distribution Solutions. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. Director Krennic is copied on all SSCRs. But if he wants oversight on these particular modifications, it's your responsibility to brief him on your problems. Document number YM38840. Reply to Waste Radiation Distribution Solutions. Sent from Galen Urso to Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran. Vodran, I alerted the director personally at your suggestion. I also spoke to my team, and we identified the problem. The reactor core modifications are resulting in radiation buildup, which in turn has the potential of interfering with the hypermatter annihilator. The buildup is caused by the inner shield actively reflecting excess particles and metaphorically cooking the reactor core. Had the shielding team's research not been so heavily compartmentalized, this might have been avoided. Nonetheless, the reactor core modifications must remain as is. Therefore, we are left with three possible ways of avoiding radiation buildup. Option one, construction of a particle funnel and recycler. This is known and tested technology. I am confident it will function. Physical requirements mean the recycler would need to replace existing non-critical mechanisms under the Northern Command sector. But I estimate the needed disassembly would take under two weeks. Option two, Further refinement of our reactor technology to reduce waste particles. I have several team members keen on this possibility. They are excited about the potential for a technological breakthrough. Option three, construction of manual venting shafts and thermal exhaust ports. They should reduce particle buildup to within tolerances, but not to a degree I find personally acceptable. In addition, adding venting shafts risks additional incompatibilities with non-critical systems. Please alert me if you have concerns. Document number YM3884P. Reply to Waste Radiation Distribution Solutions. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. I oversaw construction of the Northern Command Sector myself. Tarkin has already toured the facilities. If the particle funnel and recycler can't go anywhere else, stick with options two and three. You might want to give Krennic the final decision. He's concerned about the timetable. Document number YM3884Q. Particle buildup. Sent from Galen Urso to Advanced Weapons Research Director Orson Krennic. Director, as we discussed, attached our preliminary reports on two methods for reducing particle buildup. I've made my preferences clear in person, but I defer to your judgment. Document number YM3884R. Reply to particle buildup. Sent from Advanced Weapons Research Director Orson Krennic to Galen Urso. Galen, new research and technological development is out of the question at this juncture. Work up a full proposal for the exhaust port solution and send the plans to Vodran for SSCR. Document number YM3884S. Venting shafts. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. 
or so. What is this trash? The system's safety and compatibility report quit running after 200 red lines. I only reviewed the first dozen, but it looks like you're flooding half the station with radiation. I thought these venting shafts were supposed to solve the problem. No changes are approved. Document number YM38814. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Galen Urso to Engineering Operations Manager Sheikh Vodran. I repeat myself, but I apologize. As you know, an engineer may be single-minded in his or her focus on a particular task. I, along with my team, have fallen victim to the sin of hubris. Of course, I should have warned you that your droids might register dangers. The venting shafts are designed to expel the majority of the heat and particle buildup, but some radiation leakage is inevitable. We estimate that human crew members stationed in any of 15 sections would, in the event that the battle station fires the primary weapon three times within one hour, be placed at increased risk for a wide variety of long-term health problems. The SSCR, of course, detected this in those 200 red lines. I am instructing my team to look into all options. To expedite matters, I must request the use of your droids in running several alternative scenarios. This will be an inconvenience, I realize, but the safety of the battle station's crew is paramount. <laughs> Document number YM3884U. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. <laughs> Are the command sectors or office quarters in the affected radiation zones? Document number YM3884V. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Galen Urso to Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodra. No. Document number YM3884W. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. Send me your final plans. I'll declare the droids an error and override the next SSER. I'm not burying Krennic in redline reports while you figure out how to keep a handful of stormtroopers from developing a cough. <laughs> Document number YM3884X. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Galen Urso to Engineering Operations Manager Shafe Vodran. <laughs> That's not necessary. I'm certain we can resolve this. Even if the technical solution fails, we may be able to alter crew rotation schedules to mitigate any health risks. <laughs> Document number YM3884Y. Reply to venting shafts. Sent from Engineering Operations Manager Shaith Vodran to Galen Urso. <laughs> you may be too obtuse to realize it, Urso, but I'm doing you a favor. This project needed to be done weeks ago. Send me the final venting shaft and exhaust port plans. I'll bypass SSER and submit them for production, manufacturing, and installation. Changes have been approved. <laughs> Chapter 13 Jin felt the chill of her drenched clothes acutely. She felt everything acutely.